Medical Nanotechnology, Advancements in Targeted Antibacterial Photodynamic Therapy Introduction Welcome to today's lecture on Advancements in Targeted Antibacterial Photodynamic Therapy, APDT, using nanoparticle-based carrier systems. In recent years, medical nanotechnology has revolutionized the field of medicine by facilitating the development of innovative therapeutic strategies. Specifically, the use of nanoparticles as carriers for targeted APDT has shown great promise in improving efficacy, minimizing side effects, and overcoming challenges associated with conventional treatment methods. In this lecture, we will delve into various topics related to the development and application of nanoparticle-based carrier systems for APDT. So without further ado, let's begin exploring the fascinating world of medical nanotechnology. Nanoparticles play a crucial role in targeted antimicrobial photodynamic therapy, APDT, due to their unique properties. Metallic and polymeric nanoparticles can efficiently encapsulate photosensitizers and deliver them to specific sites within the body. Their small size allows for improved drug delivery and localized treatment. Surface modifications on nanoparticles enable specific binding to target bacterial cells, enhancing selectivity and reducing side effects. Gold nanoparticles have emerged as a significant development in this field, thanks to their plasmonic properties, biocompatibility, and tunable surface properties. Polymeric nanoparticles, such as liposomes and dendromers, offer versatility in encapsulating both hydrophobic and hydrophilic photosensitizers, with the potential for controlled and localized therapy. In recent years, researchers have been exploring the use of dual-functionality nanoparticles that can simultaneously act as imaging agents and antimicrobial photodynamic therapy APDT, agents. These nanoparticles combine the benefits of real-time monitoring of treatment efficacy and accurate localization of target sites. For example, quantum dots, a type of fluorescent nanoparticle, have been successfully conjugated with photosensitizers to achieve both imaging and therapeutic functionalities. Additionally, by integrating magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, contrast agents with photosensitizers, iron oxide nanoparticles enable precise diagnosis, treatment, and potential real-time monitoring. The development of these dual-functionality nanoparticles simplifies treatment protocols, reduces costs, and eliminates the need for multiple agents. In the three, Nanoscale Optical Agents for Deep Tissue APDT Section We explore the use of nanoscale optical agents to overcome the challenge of limited light penetration in antimicrobial photodynamic therapy, APDT. Traditional photosensitizers are limited to superficial infections due to their low light penetration. However, by utilizing upconversion nanoparticles, which convert near-infrared light into visible light, researchers have extended the range of APDT to deep tissues. Additionally, near-infrared absorbing nanoparticles can generate heat upon exposure to light, effectively treating deep-seated infections and enhancing bacterial cell death. These breakthrough advancements have revolutionized the treatment of previously challenging infections located deep within the body. The shape and size of nanoparticles play a crucial role in determining their APDT efficacy. Various studies have demonstrated that nanoparticle geometry affects their cellular uptake, biodistribution, and subsequent therapeutic outcomes. For instance, it has been observed that rod-shaped nanoparticles exhibit enhanced cellular internalization compared to spherical counterparts. This improved cellular uptake is attributed to receptor-mediated endocytosis mechanisms, whereby rod-shaped nanoparticles can effectively interact with target bacteria. Additionally, the size of nanoparticles greatly impacts their ability to penetrate bacterial biofilms. Smaller nanoparticles demonstrate improved diffusion through the matrix of biofilms, thereby optimizing APDT efficacy. Moreover, smaller nanoparticles can bypass the biofilm's mechanical barriers and reach deeper layers, maximizing the treatment outcome. Understanding the role of nanoparticle shape and size in APDT efficacy enables the design of more effective carrier systems, paving the way for enhanced treatment strategies against bacterial infections. The development of bioengineering approaches has significantly enhanced nanoparticle microbe interactions, improving the overall success of APDT. These approaches involve the manipulation of surface properties and the development of smart nanomaterials to optimize specific targeting and bactericidal effects. One such approach is the functionalization of nanoparticles with ligands that recognize bacterial surface markers. By employing antibodies, peptides, or aptamers, nanoparticles can selectively bind to bacteria, thereby improving their targeting efficiency and reducing the risk of off-target effects. Furthermore, the use of intelligent nanomaterials, such as stimuli-responsive hydrogels or nanoparticles, can enhance the bactericidal effects of APDT. These materials can be designed to respond to specific environmental cues encountered within the bacterial microenvironment. 
For instance, pH-responsive nanoparticles can release photosensitizers under acidic conditions commonly found in bacterial infections, maximizing treatment effectiveness. Developing bioengineered strategies to modulate nanoparticle microbe interactions enables precise targeting and efficient APDT, while minimizing adverse effects on the host. Achieving localized delivery of photosensitizers to the target site is crucial for effective APDT. Nanoparticles offer a versatile platform for developing localized delivery systems, ensuring precise drug localization and avoiding systemic toxicity. Localized delivery systems can be achieved through the incorporation of stimuli-responsive mechanisms. These include pH, temperature, or enzyme-responsive nanoparticles. By using stimuli-responsive materials, controlled release rates can be achieved, ensuring sustained drug concentrations at the desired site. For instance, hydrogels that swell or degrade under specific conditions can function as depot systems, releasing photosensitizers gradually, optimizing bactericidal effects, and minimizing off-target effects. Another approach to achieve localized delivery is the use of in-situ gel-forming materials. These materials can be injected in a liquid form and quickly gelify, forming a depot at the site of injection. Loaded with photosensitizers, these gels provide sustained release and localized APDT. Localized delivery systems offer immense potential for improving APDT outcomes by directing therapeutic agents precisely to the target and minimizing their impact on healthy tissues. For a video targeted towards medical students, it would be appropriate to use the proper terminology and level of detail to ensure that the concepts are clearly understood. By providing a concise summary in 92 words, the key points are highlighted while maintaining the complexity required for a medical student audience. The summary explains the importance of controlling the release rate of photosensitizers in antimicrobial photodynamic therapy, APDT. It introduces the concept of stimuli-responsive nanoparticles as a useful tool for achieving controlled and triggered drug release, leading to improved therapeutic outcomes. The summary further discusses how these nanoparticles can respond to different stimuli such as changes in pH and temperature, and how specific functional groups or polymers can allow for desired drug release at the appropriate time and location. The summary emphasizes the benefits of using these nanoparticles in APDT, including tailored and on-demand drug release for maximum therapeutic efficacy and minimized side effects. Combining different materials to create hybrid nanoparticles has gained significant attention in recent years. Hybrid nanoparticles offer unique advantages by leveraging the properties of multiple materials, making them superior carriers for APDT. One example of a hybrid nanoparticle is the integration of metal and polymeric components. Metal-based nanoparticles can provide imaging functionalities, while polymeric materials can encapsulate photosensitizers for therapeutic purposes. This combination allows for co-delivery of both imaging agents and therapeutic agents within a single system. Hybrid nanoparticles can ensure accurate diagnosis and treatment monitoring while maximizing therapeutic efficacy. Another type of hybrid nanoparticle involves the incorporation of both magnetic and fluorescent components. These nanoparticles enable magnetic targeting, guided by external magnetic fields, while simultaneously facilitating imaging through fluorescence. The versatility of hybrid nanoparticles design provides a platform for tailoring properties and functionalities to suit specific APDT requirements, fostering the development of personalized nanotherapeutics. Nanotheranostics, the integration of therapeutic and diagnostic functionalities within a single platform, has emerged as a paradigm-shifting concept in medical nanotechnology. By combining imaging and therapeutic agents into a unified system, nanotheranostics enable real-time monitoring and on-demand adjustments to treatment protocols. Nanotheranostic platforms can carry both photosensitizers and imaging agents, such as contrast agents or quantum dots. This combination allows for precise identification of infected sites and simultaneous treatment. Furthermore, nanotheranostic systems can provide information on treatment response, optimizing therapeutic strategies and minimizing potential complications. These multifunctional nanotheranostic platforms hold immense potential for personalized medicine, enabling tailored treatments based on real-time monitoring and feedback. Simultaneous imaging and APDT can be achieved through the design of multifunctional nanoparticles. These nanoparticles integrate both imaging agents and therapeutic agents, providing a comprehensive approach to diagnosis and treatment. One approach involves the conjugation of photosensitizers with imaging agents, such as fluorophores or quantum dots. By combining both agents into a single nanoparticle system, simultaneous real-time imaging and therapy can be achieved. This multifunctional approach simplifies treatment protocols and enhances accuracy by enabling the visualization of infected sites during therapy. Additionally, multifunctional nanoparticles can incorporate other modalities, such as MRI contrast agents or energy-absorbing materials. 
by integrating multiple imaging modalities, a more comprehensive assessment of the disease site can be achieved, contributing to improved treatment efficacy and patient outcomes. Designing multifunctional nanoparticles allows for effective integration of imaging and APDT, streamlining treatment procedures and enhancing therapeutic outcomes. Photoacoustic imaging has emerged as a powerful non-invasive imaging modality with high spatial resolution and deep tissue penetration capabilities. When combined with nanoparticle-based APDT, photoacoustic imaging offers exceptional guidance for precise treatment localization and exhaustive disease assessment. Photoacoustic imaging operates based on the principle of converting absorbed light energy into acoustic signals, allowing the generation of detailed, anatomically accurate images. By incorporating photoacoustic imaging into APDT, researchers can visualize the distribution of nanoparticles, monitor drug release, and precisely target infected sites. To achieve photoacoustic imaging guided APDT, nanoparticles with strong photoacoustic signals, such as plasmonic nanoparticles or carbon nanotubes, can be utilized. These nanoparticles, when exposed to laser pulses, generate robust acoustic signals, facilitating accurate mapping of the disease site. Photoacoustic imaging guided APDT offers significant advantages in terms of treatment efficacy, reducing the risk of undertreatment or overtreatment. Furthermore, this multimodal imaging approach enables real-time monitoring of treatment response, facilitating adjustments to maximize therapeutic outcomes. Nanoparticle-based antimicrobial photodynamic therapy, APDT, encounters challenges when used in cancer microenvironments. The unique characteristics of tumors hinder the effective delivery of nanoparticles into the tumor region. Targeting ligands and optimizing nanoparticle size can help enhance selective targeting and accumulation in tumors. Overcoming tumor hypoxia, which limits the photodynamic effect, requires strategies like using oxygen-generating nanoparticles or combination therapies targeting tumor hypoxia. Additionally, authenticating and verifying nanoparticle accumulation within the tumor is crucial. Nanoparticle-based APDT offers opportunities by combining with other therapies for synergistic effects and designing personalized nanotherapeutics based on tumor characteristics. These advancements in medical nanotechnology can revolutionize precise drug delivery, accurate imaging, and personalized therapy in cancer treatment. In the conclusion, we highlighted the remarkable advancements made in using nanoparticles for targeted antibacterial therapy in the field of antimicrobial photodynamic therapy, APDT. We explained how these nanoparticles act as carriers, improving drug delivery and enabling deep tissue APDT. We also discussed the application of bioengineering techniques, localized delivery systems, and stimuli-responsive nanoparticles. Furthermore, we emphasized the importance of hybrid and multifunctional nanoparticles for imaging and APDT, as well as the challenges in cancer microenvironments. By further exploring medical nanotechnology, we can unlock the potential of nanoparticle-based APDT for personalized and efficient bacterial infection treatment.